Forsaken World is Perfect World Entertainment's first 3D MMORPG built from the ground up for Western gamers. Compared to our other titles, Forsaken World's backstory, its artistic style, and its playable characters are our most unique to date. Today, we're going to be talking about the eight playable classes, as well as for the first time be showing you the 14 secondary occupations of our job system. Fresh and appealing character design is one of the cornerstones of any MMO, and Forsaken World takes it to a whole nother level. You've already seen the remarkably unique races of Irida, but you'll also find fresh takes on familiar class archetypes. There are eight main classes in Forsaken World, each one intriguing and utterly unique. The warrior is the vanguard of any group, leading the way with strength and exceptional fighting ability. Warriors can bolster the group's morale, giving allies an edge in any battle. The mage controls the power of the elements, materializing them into devastating spells. Anyone who opposes a mage will have to contend with the destructive magic in their hands. The bard is a traveling musician who uses a harp to debilitate enemies as well as assist allies. The mysterious effects of a bard's song can turn an average group into a great one. The marksman possesses a steady finger and an even steadier will. Gun in hand, the marksman can take out enemies from a distance and cause constant damage over time. The priest possesses knowledge of the healing arts, allowing them to heal the wounded and protect the weakened. With a priest in your group, you can walk the edge of darkness and continue fighting where you'd otherwise have fallen. The Stone Man Protector is born of rock and inherently as strong. The Protector's legendary fortitude and strength in battle ensures that a group shall never fear defeat as long as their Protector still stands. The Assassin lurks in the dark and strikes when the enemy least expects it. Assassins live by the code that a killing blow can prevent a hundred wasted strikes. Unwary victims can fall in the blink of an eye. The Vampire is a shadowy member of the Kindred Race that specializes in both dark magic and close combat. Born of a divine but mysterious bloodline, vampires use their own blood to power their deadly spells. So by now you've probably noticed that there's eight classes but only five races which means that several of the classes are shared amongst more than one race. However, each of these race class combinations has unique skill trees and talents. So a human warrior and an elf warrior will have unique skills and in turn, unique gameplay experiences. In addition, each class comes with three different skill trees, which allows you to further tailor your character to your personal playstyle. For example, if you roll a dwarf marksman, you can focus your talents on precision, which essentially makes you a sniper. Soul, which gives you time and soul-based abilities, or Burst, which allows you to imbue your shots with fire. Now that you've seen the playable classes, it's time to go deeper. Aside from the eight main classes in Forsaken World, there are 14 secondary job occupations. You can think of these as secondary jobs to your main class. Each job allows you to specialize in certain useful roles. For example, choosing an alchemist will allow you to become a master at potion making. Choose Mineralogist, and you'll become a master at finding rare and valuable minerals. And if you choose Tamer, you'll be a master at capturing and taming pets. There are 14 jobs in total, including some that are more outside of the box. Jobs like Socialite and Adventure. Whatever you choose, you'll be able to augment your character in many invaluable ways. Stay tuned. In upcoming previews, we'll show you not only our feedback from our closed beta participants, but we'll also unveil our guild features and guild basis system. For those of you who are currently playing in closed beta, I hope you're having a blast. And to everybody else who's waiting to get in, we look forward to seeing you in open beta in early 2011. The world is not perfect, so play in one that's forsaken.